All right, back at another auction. It's been a while since I've done an auction day. Motors, wheels, this looks like just assorted metals and bits. What else we got here? What the heck is that? Phelps Dutch magnet wire. Never even heard of a magnet wire. Masonry tools. All right, now we're definitely in the Lehigh Valley towards the slate era or the slate area. It's actually in Banger, and uh, Banger High School is actually called the Slaters. This is Slate. Uh, that's how much Slate is around here, but Quate, it's a yard game around here. Very popular in Northeast Pennsylvania. Uh, it's kind of similar to horseshoes. It's more scrap. Those are uh, those Quates. I used to find them everywhere not too long ago. These things, freaking, I need one of these, but I know this thing is not movable but we'll see what happens today and show you guys around and see what boxes I buy if I buy a lot of boxes I parked in prime spot as well so should be a good day this looks like just a tool area those sell surprisingly I don't know what they look like they're very easy to make people like hanging these on walls to me, they just look like mesh boxes for uh, sifting. So we have photos of this unit, or this unit, this auction, for like three days. And I was thinking to myself, did he leave all the box lots out overnight for the last three days? I'm thinking he probably did. We got a fenced off area over there. I thought it was the house next over, so it was like right by the road. The 19th. <laughs> This looks like a great cup. Almost looks like an ice cream milkshake. Love computer games. Man, what a time to be alive. The old CD-ROM computer games. Looks like a lot of, yeah, realistically lower end flea market stuff here. Like this glassware, I don't really sell any of that. These coasters, these never sell. They're cool, they're vintage. These might, no, they're made by Colony. This will probably sell for a lot. Uh oh. Is this a sports specialties? It looks like it is. Sports specialties. Script Eagles. Decent hat. Grateful Dead Bear. Crunch. That's not good. It's another Grateful Dead. Holy VHSs. These things are massive boxes of VHSs. Guys, been following her a while, know my whole deal with those and what I think about them. And a great opportunity that arises. If anyone out there wants to try it, what the heck are these? These look like. Huh, these might be alright. Those handheld games. Elvis cards. Just a lot of stuff has not smelled the best. And something like this, you might find older video games, but it's kind of just that era but I'm not seeing them I'd like to see what this is that's freaking cool 
try to put everything back the way you found it. the garage era challenger east co it's really nice clothing up here i still don't know what this bear is i thought it was a grateful dead bear but it just says bear on it i gotta sit down and look at my phone for freaking five minutes and figure it out isn't that a cool jacket this goodyear one's awesome too So, trying to search it, and uh, there we go, finally. No, I was saying it. Retired firefighter trifold wallet. No, that ain't it. I'm just trying to figure out what the bear is. Men's Ottawa Centers. Nope. Batman and Robin. Nope. This ain't it. I was going to get a plug for this, this app, but it ain't working out so well. All right, so now I'm going to just go on a guessing game and maybe say it's the Grateful Dead bear. I don't know. What am I supposed to know? Anyway, should have brought a hand truck. Is that Larry? Looks like Larry. No, I only hit a curve. It probably is Larry. He's got junk all in the back. Yeah, it's gotta be him. He has his like ball thing on the back. For, oh my goodness! For hauling trailers over the course of I don't know the eight years I've known him, I've probably hit that thing five times and so obnoxiously far away. All right. Those are some fancy looking dressers. Very modern, mid-century. Oh, record cabinet. This problem is like this kind of stuff, all this mid-century stuff, sells amazingly in cities like these lamps are kind of that's they're mid-century but they're not this one's kind of neat with the wood uh, inlay on it but uh we're 64 but out here in the, the country it's just people who just never updated their uh their stuff now it says it is solid cherry mm -hmm. oh yeah this is not that doesn't look like it no. so it's a whole duck low set 1965 they spent $2,300 wow that's 1965 it's not you know and the sad thing about it it's worth a lot more than that now and it's not going really to come close to that today Larry's eyeing it up check out this Yep. Look at how that chair doesn't match though. Yeah. It's not the same color, but it matches the same style. I know. The swivel on the top. Why is it low? That's oh. oak. It's duck low. Yeah, but it's not black chair. Duck, duck low colonial reproductions. That's maple. Did I say reproduction? All right, I bought some of this great merchandise. What the heck is this? Oh, these are all like chunks. Is that an Xbox? All right, this is my pile of stuff. Oh, that's not mine. This is. Anybody? I got my hat. Paid seven bucks for them, but there's that one Eagles one. Anybody want for five dollars? I'll give you all those jackets. You got some nice ones. Three dollars? Or you put plants in there? I know you want it. You're looking at it. Five go. Who can be five? Five where? Who can be five? Five where? Number one, three. Three where? Number one, three. Take it off my hands for three. Come on, three. Number two. Two where? Number two. Two where? Number two. Two where? 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 Two
Sold two and a half dollars, two two five. Your hair too late, ma'am. I'm sorry, two two five. Okay, what do you have, buddy? Position <laughs> sign there in four. How about that? All right, there. Five dollar. Two fifty. Two and a half. Nobody use that one. Nobody use that one. Two and a half. We sold the show. All right, so I bought all this stuff over here. Just pulling out these drawers. All sorts of Paul McCartney, ACDC, Madonna. This looks like it's a whole set of classic rock and rock and roll. So I got to go through and see what I'm taking because there's a lot here. Yeah, there's a lot to go through. They spent a lot of time in front of TV. I'll tell you. Yeah. I just bought an, uh, another estate a whole lot. Uh, record player has big speakers, record player, yeah. stereo, and oh, wow. uh, oh, wow. 10 bucks. Wow. A whole, it's, a, it's great. Plus the, the boxes that went with it. Right, right. You can't find the ones with the old record players. They didn't the old records don't play as well on the new ones. Right, right. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the difference of the speed of it. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. Yes, I just bought a bike. So what are you going to do with all these? Uh, probably listen to them. Huh? I think shot. I also have the other one, but... There's a Porsche pen on it. Yeah, you got the one back here that has the thorny in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's part of this. Packing up. I would not take these VHSs, but they're all very different. A lot of them are music themed. This one I did not want. I don't. Oh yeah, I did want that because there's all these records in there. Those were hidden. Uh, Auction Life is here helping pack up as well as Renee and uh, Auction Life got a nice vintage NES controller, like a joystick, um, and Top Gun, the NES game, in a box. All right, I think two bucks. This freaking thing, dude! I don't want this. Become a physician. Is that an Atari? No. No, that's, that's what, what I thought too. I got sucked into the same thing. into the camera. Every guy even had this thing on. Oh, it's at eight minutes. Wow. All right. So I made it back. I took a shower, changed my clothes. I, I needed a shower. It's one of the times of the year at these summer auctions where you just sweat and sweat and sweat. Uh, I did end up picking up the hat. So we do have one decent one here. This is a uh, sports specialties. The, uh, the better one for this would be their corduroy. They have corduroy hats they make. Um, this is a I don't know what you even call it. I think they call it twill. That's what they call it. I think that's uh, one of these non-corduroys. But this in this condition is like $30 to $40 when football season arrives. Uh, if it's in mint condition, it's probably like $60 to $80. A couple other hats here. I think that's a ban. This is also not Grateful Dead. That is um, Bear Automotive. And then a Beatles, 1994 Beatles hat. It's kind of interesting. Uh, my total bill today was $39. I did pick up all these dolls. I'm not really too familiar on dolls in general. I assume they're probably not worth a whole lot because he had literally a whole table's worth and he couldn't sell any doll by the piece for a dollar. And um, then he didn't buy boxes by a dollar and they made it to like four different lots. And I ended up buying all four boxes or four lots for a dollar a lot. I figured there's probably close to maybe fifty dollars there. If you invest four dollars, you're probably going to make your four dollars back. Hopefully, I don't see why you can't. Uh, I did also. So there's a lot of CDs down here and a lot of decent stuff. The Holly's Greatest Hits. There's a lot of Beatles stuff. I got to take out this one. You know, Beach Boys. Can't forget that one. Uh, back to the 60s. A lot of oldies stuff. 
like I said, a lot of dolls. I did buy, like I said, I bought the box with all the hats and shoes. Uh, not even when I look at the shoes, I don't think they're anything great. Uh, but there are a lot of cassettes. You see all these cassettes here. Uh, I'm probably going to just bring them up to the flea market tomorrow. They're a mixture of some are good, some aren't. Uh, there, there's just a lot there. I did also buy clothes. So I did get the eagle stuff. This is kind of just like filler eagles. That's just a blanket. But there were a couple crew necks in here. I had a friend who went out and bought this when the Eagles, I don't know if they made the Super Bowl or they were like the championship game or whatever it was, but it was pretty far into the uh, postseason. And they went out and spent $60 for the same exact sweatshirt. A lot of older vintage Eagles stuff. This one's probably one of my favorite. I don't know who that is. Number 34. Uh, so I did get clothes. I paid $5 for this box of all the Eagle stuff. I also paid $5 these uh, shirts over here. I paid a dollar for this Lee jacket with the, I believe it's what they call Sherpa lined. Nice vintage Lee jacket here, made in USA. Um, they brought out these shirts really, really late. In fact, these were the last things to sell at the auction, aside from the cars. But the last box lot, lot last thing on the tables were all these Mickey shirts. And uh, I got them all for uh, $5. So it's a really good deal there. Less than a dollar each. Uh, this one I think is a pretty decent one. I already passed up one that I thought was pretty good also. But yes, this one's a pretty decent one. There are still deals to be had at the auction. I did also pick up E.T. He was a little busted, but I think someone will, will definitely enjoy him. Uh, but I'm going to pack up. I have to add more stuff here for the flea market because, unfortunately, the one thing with selling a flea market, you really can't just bring the same exact category unless it's something that's really, really good. And uh, given how many cassettes and record or VHSs and dolls I have, I mean, I can't just sell VHSs, cassettes, and dolls. So I'm going to add a whole bunch more in here, what I have left in inventory. And then tomorrow's flea market day, always on the grind. It's like 4 o'clock right now. I'm kind of getting kind of hungry, so... Trying to balance if I want to eat and then pack or pack and then eat. But once I'm done with everything, it's just I'm going to bed. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up here. I'm going to try to get a little bit cooled off. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the treasure hunt. Thanks for coming along. As always, guys, enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.